welcome back to another instructional video. This is the wolf painting that I've been working on for the last few days. My name is Ruth. I'm a professional artist. And this is my website, my, I'm sorry, my YouTube channel, where I do some painting. This week I am doing a watercolor on Yuppo, or Yuppo paper. It's a synthetic paper that is not made from trees, so a lot of people like using it. I enjoy using it because it's fantastic for watercolors. You can do a lot of neat effects with it, like I've done here in the background. A lot of abstract effects here, but you can also do tight realism, like I'm doing here for the wolf painting. It is an, an unex, <laughs> inexpensive alternative to other watercolor papers. It's easy to use because you don't have to pre-stretch it or pre-wet it or soak it, you can just immediately start painting. It doesn't buckle on the side, see how it's not staple? And it works beautifully, it's very durable as well. So I have started adding the details to the wolf's fur. If you've been following the painting since the beginning, I'm starting now to get into a lot of the details. I had to step back and take a look at it to make sure the proportions are correct. I recommend that you as an artist do this frequently. Always step back and take a look at your work. It's the best way to make sure you are staying on, staying with the proper proportions. It's just a good thing to do, a good practice to get into. Sometimes when you're staring at a painting up close for so long, you aren't really seeing it correctly anymore, especially when you're doing tight realism like I am. So you need to step back or look at it in a mirror. I like to hold my work up to a mirror. Video, like I'm doing right now, really helps as well. When I go back and watch this video, I can see if I've made some mistakes. I can see where I need to make some corrections. And that's what it means <clears throat> to be an artist. Nobody gets it perfect the first time around. And that's okay. That's what it means to be an artist. You're always learning. You're always practicing, always uh, correcting mistakes. So don't ever be afraid of making mistakes and having to go back and correct yourself. I'm also a writer and I've written five books for middle grade readers and that's one thing that I've learned as a writer as well. You have to go back and make revisions, make corrections. No, no one writes a perfect first draft. J.K. Rowling didn't. Charles Dickens didn't. You know, Hemingway didn't. Everybody has to go back and revise their work. And that's the same thing with painting. You might need to go back and make some corrections and that is okay. So today I'm just going to be working more on the fur. I've switched to a smaller tip watercolor brush for a lot of the details. I'm just trying to get the wave of the fur, as you can see from the photograph. The fur moves in a certain motion, and I'm trying to get and make sure that my fur painting strokes are going in that same motion as well. It's, it creates the illusion of that thickness of the fur. Wolf fur is very, very thick and beautiful. So I'm trying to capture that same look with the fur. My light keeps falling, but that's okay. So I'll have another time-lapse painting up later on today as I get into the more and more of the details. It's pretty tedious when you're painting fur, you're just painting tiny little strokes with your brush, so it can be kind of tedious to watch, so I'm not going to do an instructional video on it. I'll do a time lapse later on. But I just wanted you to see the progress that I'm making on this painting. It's been a lot of fun. Painting wolves is one of my favorite things to do. This painting happens to be for the daughter of a dear friend. She loves wolves too. I my fr uh, friend's daughter loves wolves, and when I heard that, I thought, okay, then she is going to get a wolf painting, because that is one thing I love to paint, wolves. And I'll be doing more. I am a big fan of Monty Sloan. He is a professional photographer who goes out to the wolf park at Yellowstone Park and he takes these amazing photographs of the wolves in their natural habitat. They are not in zoos, they are not in cages,
they roam free at Yellowstone and they are protected so photographers can go out and capture these wolves and their beauty. You as tourists can also go to the wolf park and sit with a camera and binoculars and you just might be able to see the wolves walk by as well. They've been there since birth and they've been studied by scientists and the wolves which were once going extinct are now thriving thanks to the wolf park. I support Wolf Park. I strongly suggest you do as well by going to Monty Sloan's website and purchasing his beautiful photographs. You are helping him to stay out there in the Wolf Park, doing what he loves to do and helping to preserve these gorgeous animals so that they can live in their natural environment and not have to be put in horrible zoos and cages. Okay, well, thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to unveiling the finished product soon. See you next time.